Uh, hello, year 10 bar 1, Mr. Matt's class. Uh, this is uh, one question. I think it's question number 10 on the topic of algebra. So someone had written question number 10 on the board, so I'm going to do this. So as we are not meeting this week, I would like you to uh, try to do this. Those who have done it, that's fine. You can check your answers. So here you've got a triangle. It says each angle in this triangle is represented by an expression. So say this is a triangle ABC. It's a good practice to write what you know. So what do we know? It's given that angle A is X plus 4. It's a measure. It's a number. So angle B measures X plus 10. And angle C is as whenever you have a problem it's a good thing to write what you have so this is what you know or what is given so this is angle a this is angle b and this is angle c okay now what is one result what do you know about the sum of three angles of any triangle if you add the three angles of any triangle so this is i would say this is this is given Okay, the next step is to write what you know. Okay, so write. The next is I know. So this is a technique I'm trying to teach you to write, follow these steps. In any example, any problem, a simple or a complicated problem, if you go through these steps, you'll surely get the answer. So what do I know about the three? If you add the three angles, what do you know? That will be equal to how many degrees? So I well, I know angle A Oh, it, this is measure angle A, so you can write angle A plus angle B plus angle C is 180 degree. So now I have to relate given, so how can you relate, now the next question is, how can you relate this with this? You have to relate this with, given with what I know. So I can say, well, in place of x, I can put, so in place of a, I can put x plus 4. In place of b, or angle b, I can put x plus 10, and the same way angle c, x minus 20. Therefore, you got an equation now, x plus 4 plus x plus 10 plus x minus 20 is equal to 180. So this is called a relating between given and what you know. So let us simplify the left hand side. So let us let me group the x's together. This is called this notation is called therefore. Okay, so three dots means therefore. Okay, ma mathematicians like to make things easier. So the next step would look like this it is x plus x plus x plus four plus ten minus 20 is equal to 180. So what can we see? You got, this is called grouping of like terms. So these are three lots of x, and this is 4 plus 10 minus 20. So what can you do? If you got one lot of x, the second lot of x, the three lots of x can be written as, therefore, 3x. Now, what is 4 plus 10? 4 plus 10 is 14, so I'll show you this. So this is first, you go, what is 4 plus 10? It is 14. Then you have to go 14, take away 20, which is negative 6, okay? So it's always good to check on a calculator. If you are not sure how to do this, you can get your calculators out. You should know this, though. So you can, calculator will help you. It's always good to check your 4 plus 10 minus 20 or take away 20 is minus 6. Okay, so I can write minus 6 is equal to 180. Now I want to find the value of x. That's what we want to do. So the question is write and solve an equation to find out the number x, what x represents. So well, I can say you've got two equations, sorry, the two sides of an equation. Now I want to undo this get rid of this minus 6. So I think, well, what's the opposite of minus 6, which is plus 6. So if you add 6 to this side, you have to add 6 to this side. So these are two sides of an 
equation. So this is called the left hand side and this is the right hand side. So now what will happen? Change of colors. So this is minus 6 and plus 6 will get cancelled. So you can bring this down. So which is 3x is equal to, you have to add this, 180 plus 6 is 186. Okay, now when you have 3x, this means 3 times x is equal to 186. Okay, so here I want to get rid of this 3. So well, I have to divide this side by 3. So I have to divide this side by 3. So this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. So x is, let me do without the calculator, x is, one, you can use the calculator, 186 divided by 3. So this is same as 180 plus 6 divided by 3, which is equal to 180 divided by 3. I'm also showing you one strategy of dividing. So I know 180 divided by 3 is, I know 18 divided by 3 is 6. So 180 divided by 3 should be 60 plus 2, which is 62. So my answer is x is equal to 62. Now you should not stop here. You should always go back and check whether the answer is making sense. So this is a big question you need to ask. Does my answer, after, after getting the answer, you should ask this big question. I call this a big question. Does my answer make sense? So how do I do that? I put, I go back to the question and see if x is 62, what happens? So this will become 62 plus 4. I can say 62 plus 4 is 66. So this becomes 66. This becomes 66, 62 plus 10, which is 72. So this, your B is 72 degrees. And this is 62 minus 20, which is 42, which is angle C is 42. So if my answer is right, I should get 66 plus 72 plus 42 should be equal to what? Should be equal to 180. So I'll get my calculator out. So I can go 66 plus 72 plus 42. That's right, so it's 180, so this is 180, and that's what happens when you add three angles of a triangle, so you should be, you can check your answer, and uh, you can be proud of your answer, so you give yourself five stars. I'll do one more example, this is the next example that I'm going to do in the next video, I want to, you to read the question, this is a a uh, school ground, a school garden is shaped like a rectangle and a regular hexagon. So this is a rectangle and a regular hexagon. The rectangle's length, the length is double its width, okay? Then it says the garden is to be surrounded by a bendable plastic border. You want a bendable plastic border. The border does not go between the two shapes. So you don't have any border between the shapes. It requires, it requires 20, 25 meters of border to completely surround the garden. So you need 25 meters of plastic to completely surround the garden. So the question is write, the, write an equation that helps you to calculate the width of the rectangle. So I will start for you. I want you to do it yourself. You can say this is a width, so I can say this is x. I would like you to do the remaining yourself and then I will get back to you. See you in the next video.